Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is all about exploring parametric shapes in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I'm doing this tutorial with a beta, but this will be in the shipping version by the time I release this episode. So what is a parametric shape? It's a shape based on parameters and it just means it's much, much easier to edit. And this is something that you see in applications like Illustrator, Cinema 4D, it's very common. And the one thing that it can give you is rounded corners <laughs> in a title in Premiere Pro. And if you're like me, you know how difficult it is to draw a beautifully accurate rounded corner. It's really hard. Now, it's easy. Let's go have a look. So I'll jump to my graphics workspace. And when you're in the graphics workspace, it puts the central graphics on the right and it puts the tools in here. Now, in the previous versions of Premiere Pro, the pen tool and the shapes were all together. Well, now the shapes are separate. And if you click and hold, you'll see three shapes, rectangle and ellipse and the new polygon tool. So let's go one by one here, the rectangle. You drag a rectangle. Well, how is that different from the past? Well, look at over here and you can see numbers. So you've got exact values of this shape. I can't tell you how many editors have asked for this, but they simply want, I want to put a 500 by 300 pixel shape in the middle of my screen. It was impossible before, <laughs> such a simple thing. So let's do that now. I'll click 500, tab over 300, and I'll center, center. Now I've got a 500 by 300 uh, pixel shape in the middle of my screen. Very easy. And you can change this after the fact. So just dragging will change on the number, but if you add shift, you'll drag this larger, or you could just grab the shapes. The only issue with doing this is the Anchor point is no longer in the center, but if you're doing it this way, the anchor point stays in the center. Of course, you can move the anchor point. All right, let's look at the next setting on the right, and it's rounded corners. Oh, mama, look at that. Drag it out, you've got rounded corners. Click on it again, and you've got square corners, rounded corners, square corners, rounded corners, square corners. Um, and you can now have beautifully formed corners. And if you change, the size of that, you see that they stay beautiful. Or if you're just grabbing it on here, they stay nice and beautiful. And like I mentioned before, we can center that. Here's the cool thing. You can also grab these and drag them right on the shape. So if you're used to doing this in Illustrator, then you'll love it here. Nice, huh? Okay, so that is just creating shapes. Here's another reason why I like to be able to have numbers. You can now create a background. I actually made three separate backgrounds and put them on the member site because I, I had to zoom in and as carefully as I could dry, draw them as close to 1920 by 1080. And I bet you I was probably off by maybe one pixel because it wasn't accurate before. Now, click in here, 1920, 1080, and center, center. Now I've got my background. You don't even have to save this as a um, motion graphics template, a Mogurt. Um, it's just so easy to make these now. The only reason you would is maybe if you went in here and changed this from solid to a linear gradient. So let's make this blue to blue and make the second blue. Let's make this one darker. Click OK. So now we have a perfect gradient background that's exactly 1920, 1080, or 2K, 4K, whatever shape or size you want. Huge. I love it. Well, let's go next to the ellipses. Here's the ellipse. Same thing. I can drag it out, 
hold shift and it's going to be a perfect circle. And oh, look at this. We so if we wanted an 800 tab over 800. So there's a perfect 800 by 800 pixel circle right in the center. Of course, beautiful. Now let's look at the newest one and that's polygons. The first time you draw out a polygon, it's going to be a, a triangle, three sides. If you hold shift, it's going to be an equilateral triangle, right? That's what they're called, equilateral triangles. I failed math miserably in high school. Okay, uh, so let's put that in the center. And we have corners just like before, and you can drag them around there or drag them with it, whoops, within the shape. Oops, within the shape, maybe a little bit tough to grab. But uh, if you're looking for creating, you know, maybe a traffic sign, that kind of a shape, I've made those before and I manually had to draw each one of the, the Bezier handles and, and try to position them. Um, and then over on the right is how many sides. So there's four sides, five sides, six sides. So now when you want to draw any of these shapes, you've got that option and you can add round corners on top of this. So if we drag that out, we've got a six shape, rounded corny, corner, uh, polygonal, parametric shape. Okay, cool. And here's a few other examples that I was playing around with. What I like about this example is there's actually a rounded corner on the other side, but because you don't see it, it looks only like the rounded part is inside. So you just tuck the other rounded part off the screen in the other side. Next up, let me show you a little secret tip inside here. And that's the fact that if you hold Alt on Windows Option on Mac, you can round one corner at a time. So right now, when you draw this rectangle, it shows up this way when you change the rounded corners, all of them round, but hold down Alt or Option and now you can drag one or two or three and create this interesting shape that grows correctly. In the past, I've actually drawn this kind of a shape. And the problem was that when you scaled it, it, it just, the scaling destroyed the shape. But here, as you're, you're moving the path itself, then the rounded corner works perfectly. And then I've just done another rounded corner here, two of them on the top, and you could do this as a little pop-up kind of thing. So there you go. It, it, it's pretty simple, but it is really, really powerful if you're into precision drawing um, in, in, in when you're creating these new titles of Premiere Graphics. If you're like me and you painstakingly drew these shapes with a pen tool, something that would have taken me maybe Five minutes is now going to take me two seconds uh, and be accurate and I can easily change that. And the backgrounds, finally being able to create any shape the exact size that you want. Amazing. We can't keyframe those, so you can't keyframe the rounded corners, um, but uh, at least having them is a big update in Premiere Pro. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Um, if, you're, if you want to support us some more, you can do that on the VideoRevealed.com website. There's a link in the description where you can donate once or monthly, any amount you want. There's a bunch of free stuff to download and become a member and get even more. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get all enthusiastic about something that might seem a little bit uh, simple of a, of, a, of a new feature, but trust me, this is a big one.